Is it cold, dark, and scary, and your friend loves playing pranks on you? Today, you will learn how to survive in the wild and not feel like Robinson Crusoe. A weekend in nature? Great idea! Get out! We're here! Hey. Give up your cell phones! This suitcase contains everything you need to survive. I hope you can make it! Arrivederci! Have a nice day! Hey, wait! Oh gosh, will we survive? I wonder what he left us. A rope, a can, a magnifying glass, tape, and toilet paper? Wait, did you say toilet paper? That's what I need right now. Wow, my friend caught her first prey. Quail eggs. Yes, I just found them on the way to, you know where I was going. Ruining bird's nest is not a very good idea. But this is a fight for survival, and we don't have any food. And now we will have a good lunch. But they need to be cooked. Bingo! We have a magnifying glass. To light a fire, you will need the magnifying glass and some branches. Direct rays of sunlight through the magnifying glass. Patience is a virtue. Look! The twigs are already smoking. Wow! You are like Prometheus! Now we just have to find dishes. Why do you need a Pepsi can? Cut a hole in the can with a utility knife. Insert the burning branches in it. Break an egg into the gap at the bottom of the jar. Mini fried eggs made in survival conditions taste better somehow. Mmm, bon appetit! Phew, we managed to eat! So, should we keep going? Ooh, berries! Yum! Don't rush! These small black ones are wolf berries. They aren't edible. But these ones are much better. You can definitely eat big red rosehip berries. You can even brew them instead of tea. Wow, we found water. I am so thirsty. Not so fast. It's definitely not very clean. Don't worry, we have a handkerchief. It will help us turn dirty water clean. Tear a piece of cloth up. Take some sticks. Insert them into the sand. Pull the fabric between the sticks. Make three levels. Take coarse sand, some grass, and some coal. Put the grass on the top level. Fill the second hammock with sand and stones. Place the coal on the lower level. Take two glasses. Use one to get water from the river and pour it into the filter. Place the second one under the structure. Pour it in a thin stream so that the water can be filtered. Wow! Three whole levels of filtration? Don't forget to fill the bottle with water. But it's better to boil water if you can. Look 
it's in the river. It's a little lobster. Come over here, Shelly. It's a source of pure, healthy protein. You need to make a lobster trap. Take off your tights. Collect some bendy vines. Weave a circle. Pull the tights on it. Fasten the vine to the stick. Catch the lobster with such a net. Let's see if we caught any. Wow, there's more than one. Let's try to cook them. We already have a whole bunch of firewood. The girls make a fire and they put the lobsters right on the coals. When the lobsters turn red, they can be eaten. Delicious! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful here. In moments like these, it's easy to forget that you don't have a change of clothes. Your makeup bag is still at home, and you'll have to spend the night in a homemade tent instead of a comfy bed. Look, ducks! It's so romantic! Just be careful! Don't fall into the water! You don't have a second pair of sneakers with you! Oops! Your feet are soaked! Well, no time to be sad! We need to collect stones. And branches. More branches. Wet shoes are a problem, obviously, but we also need to think about building our tent. Assemble a tent from the branches. A temporary shelter is ready. Make yourself comfortable. Now we need to take care of the wet sneakers. Make a fire in the front of the hut. Place the stones in the fire. When the stones get hot, put them into your sneakers. This way, they will dry much faster. By the way, you can use pine cones as fuel for the fire. And the sneakers are already very dry. So, is it time to drink tea? Build a stand out of sticks. Wrap the neck of a bottle with wire. Attach the bottle to the crossbar. This is a special life hack for when you don't have a pot or metal cup. Don't forget to remove the lid, otherwise the bottle will explode. The bottle may be deformed or slightly melted, but it won't burn through. See the bubbles? The water is boiling! Place the rose hips in the glasses. Fill them with boiling water. When you are pouring the water, do not touch the bottle. You could burn yourself. Healthy tea is ready. How delicious. Mmm. Now we are all warm. The first day of our Staying Alive project was a success. We can go to bed. Do you think they will come to pick us up tomorrow?
Did you like our survival life hack? Would you agree to spend such a wild weekend in the woods? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss any useful ideas from Troom Troom Select.